Hello again! Uh... We're still doing rotations at our meetings for all of the new people to get them used to the general robotic style. And it's driving me nuts. Not that the rotations are a bad idea, it's just that having been on the team for two years already and knowing a lot of this stuff and having to teach it to new people in rotations of four at a time, it's getting really just sort of old. But in two weeks, we're going to ask everyone, like, what they sort of like the most about the team, whether it was, like, the software or the electrical or the shop or whatever, and then we can place them to, like, the subgroups, and hopefully by then their rotations will stop because everyone will have a general idea of how most of the subteams work. The last meeting started a bit late because some of the mentors were running late, and uh, they had the keys to all the rooms and stuff we have access to, so... Uh, we were running about half an hour late, and we filled up that half an hour with A, just sort of randomly chatting, and B, towards the last 15 minutes of uh, what we had left before we had decided on the new meeting time, we had soon sway the interview game for a bit. We only got two in, but here they are. Question rhetorical. <laughs> if you could make up one word to describe yourself, what would it be? Oh gosh. And it can't be like a real amazing word. task. Okay, that works. And then we got into the rotations again. Big surprise, right? Anyways, now I was not in the rotations this time like I was last time, which was admittedly a little fun because it was only the it was the one time I'd been doing it, so it was sort of cool uh, meeting some of the new people. But there are four stations this time. And due to the late meeting time, not all the teams got to all the stations. Everyone got to three stations, and there were uh, four stations and four teams. So each team missed one rotation. And we're going to have to catch them up with that next week somehow. I don't know how yet. But the first station was... You saw the rotation last week where they had started to cut off, cut wood. And uh, we are going to make individual soldering stations with them. Uh, this rotation continued that, and it, and we got most of the people got it looking like this. So pretty much everyone's soldering station is done now. It was a quick uh, sort of shop intro where they all got to make a quick thing. And it, that's why I only took two meetings, but it was still, uh, it was still a fun thing. Just go with it. next station was called Pew, spelled P-U-G-H. I'm not entirely sure what that station did because for some reason I missed out just like on hearing the details of what they were doing, but what it seemed like was more um, going over robotics in general and, and they also seemed to discuss how when people get together to put ideas for the robots together, uh, more organized ways to take ideas from different robot ideas people have and put them together to make a final product faster and more efficiently. And Mr. Hughes said was in charge of that this time. But whenever you try and do any of these things, you guys got to have some goals, and then you got to figure out how you're going to meet your goals with the best design. That's concept. That's what, see you next Tuesday. That's what all these people had to do. All right. So your Pew concept selection matrix, what does it do for you? ideas in an organized way. So your ideas, if you kind of write them down and describe them a little bit, that becomes a concept. Okay, it's not a design yet, it's not really detailed. And then we can take the best concepts, borrow parts from them, and make better ones. That's the combining part. See it, guys. likely an autonomous vehicle for the DARPA challenge, where they give you a map and then the vehicle has to drive itself with no driver through a course in the desert, right? How about these guys? It's an armada of little red robots. 
robot thing to a big tire factory. I don't know what that is. The next station was actual soldering. Not just building the soldering station, but doing the activity of soldering itself. Which, for those of you who don't know, is a little hard for me to describe because I'm not electrical, but I can hopefully outline the general idea of it for you. Basically, what you do is take a metal rod with a handle, and it'll heat up to about 300 to 800 degrees, I think, is the range most of them can go into. They have different settings, so, like, low can be 300, medium can be 500, and high can be 800. I don't think there are many that go that high, but I'm not a professional. I'm probably getting a lot of numbers wrong anyways, so who cares? Anyways, you have an extremely hot metal rod in your hand, and in your other hand, you have this thing called solder, spelled S-O-L-D-E-R. The L is silent. And what that is, is I know there are going to be people on my team who are going to yell at me for this, but essentially a coiled thing of very soft metal. And what you do is you put the soldering iron onto a wire and then it, you put this you feed the solder onto the surface of the wire when it gets hot enough not onto the tip of the iron itself and the heat that's being conducted through the wire will cause the solder to sort of melt onto the wire and fuse whatever it's touching together so this has a few different applications you can put wires together with solder if you and that's called splice um, there are terminals you can put on the ends of wires and it sort of like, it creates a bond between the metal part of the terminals and the copper part of the wire. And there are a few other applications too, but that's sort of like the two that immediately come to my head. And that's what the soldering station was. Get to your server at the time, you yeah, order 20% of the purchases will go to support the yeah. Lake Orion Robotics team. Oh, wait. Just like that? Oh man, I would go. I think I might. I'll see the solder right at the joint. And speaking of the electrical team, here's them talking about a Rosin pen, I think it was. Something like that, that they were really excited about for reasons I don't fully understand because I'm not electrical. If you don't get it either, don't worry. It's their problem. Okay, so this is this is the lovely present the Mac just gave us. It's a rosin core pen, uh, or a flux pen, I'm sorry. Yeah, flux pen. Anyway, so what goes ahead and happens is if you're having trouble soldering a wire, you can rub this on the end of the wire. This is Marissa. She's excited too. Um, and it helps it flow better. And it's really, really exciting. I'm excited. I'm excited too. Yeah. And then there was the last station, which I was assisting with this time. Remember the designs for the 2006 game Aim High that we had the teams come up with last week? Well, this week, what we did is we put them in a room and we had them sort of outline it better on a whiteboard so that uh, me and the mentor in charge, Mr. Hoover, and uh, uh, Kyle, who was also assisting me in that station, could better understand all the team's robot designs. And what uh, me, Kyle, and Mr. Hoover are going to do with those designs is come up with the an RPG like game for the, with each of their designs and we're going to assign stats to them like accuracy uh, we're going to take measurements of their robot like height so if one of them's in front of another they like we can tell if, uh, if the other team tries to shoot it'll block it or not speed and essentially what's how it's going to work so far that we've determined is that uh, we're going to play the game but with 10 minute intervals and that at each interval each team is going to have one representative on the board, and for each 10 second interval, the representative will decide what to do with their team's robot, whether they want to move it or shoot or move and shoot or try and get their human player to throw a ball into their robot. And it's essentially going to run like that. We've still got a lot of details to work out, but that's the gist of it. And we're going to have all the teams in the room at the same time, and they're going to play the game, and we're going to see whose design would win. Part. And we do have to tweak it for anonymous Container. So you t you're going into the corner goals, and you're not going to try to shoot balls into the... Uh, no. Oh, top. and um, right here, I forgot about this, is our sucker. It sucks up all the balls. Okay. It's like a vacuum. I don't know how to draw it because I don't remember. But it leads them up into here and dumps them into there. Does it have a conveyor that does that? With a uh, conveyor right here. Okay. And then one... And 
that was it for this meeting. I know these aren't the most exciting meetings yet, but trust me, when bill season starts, it will get a lot more intense and you'll see much more, and you'll see much more robot-like activities coming into play, not stuff that seems loosely related but isn't. It's a lot more related than you think, trust me, and it will become so much more apparent when bill season starts. But until then, I hope you stick around, so bye.